All this month on our YouTube channel, Little Wars TV, we've been taking a look at the current state of the historical wargaming hobby and the future of the hobby. And Josh, I think one of the, the big questions that keeps coming up as an ongoing recurring theme here is how can we get kids involved in miniature wargaming? And the product that we're looking at today I think is a, a clear attempt to kind of go for a younger audience. Yeah, I think so. I think this is an old school method of getting kids involved by using toys, simple wooden toys. Hi, I am Patrick Alessandri. I am the proprietor at Regimental Colors Toys of Yesteryear. Fine, old fashioned, all wood, toy soldiers and cannon. The idea rattled around in my head for a while until I was laid up from an accident. I started painting wood clothespins as soldiers and that idea and those soldiers uh, grew and I took a bag full of soldiers and cannons I had made to a friend's house and their uh, teenage boys were all playing video games and I upended the bag in front of them and much to their mother's amazement they moved all the TV and computer stuff out of the way, all the, li all the furniture out of the living room and invented their own game on the spot and she pestered and pestered and pestered until I agreed to start selling them, and uh, here I am about seven years later <laughs> with my own company. Yeah, let's look at this. I, I, like the, I like the box. It's kind of clever. It's got a little window in it so you can see what's, what's going on inside. I kind of wish the box had a bigger window. To you see know? more of the miniatures. Yeah, more like of the it's models. just sort of crowded yeah. with some text on here, and it, the, the miniatures should speak for themselves, you know, a bigger, a bigger cutout window, because the minis are cool. Yeah, these, these are really, really high-quality wooden models i mean they look really sharp so these are Berdan's sharpshooters in green mm -hmm. but you know you can see we've got a unit of the uh, union infantry and the confederate infantry and the artillery out front i, I think uh, my son would have been uh, highly attracted to something like this as a toy oh my gosh yeah four or five six year old yeah even up to 10 maybe um yeah. because the cannon which we'll show you in a minute actually shoots cannonballs oh yeah i want to play with that all right here we go one man down all right, so the, the wooden cannon comes with these soft rubber balls that you place in the front here. It has a rubber band that acts as the firing mechanism, and it just pulls back like a wooden dowel here and shoots. Bye-bye, soldier. Ah, nice hit. <laughs> oh, where that went. All right, so now that you uh, got to fire the cannon and check that out, uh, what comes in a box? Well, one box comes with 10 wooden soldiers, which includes an officer and a flag bearer. It comes mm -hmm. with a movement tray, and it comes with a nice cloth or, or linen bag that you can put them in after you open the box. The products are really nice, but um, I do think that the big question that we have to answer here is, is this enough? Is this product enough to get kids interested at a young age in the idea of wargaming? Yeah, I think you're gonna, yeah, I think you would need multiple sets of these. I think you're going to need a rule set to work around it, even if it's just a, a, a small, basic, simple rule set that kids that you can that you can teach a four or five or six year old. Right. So you mentioned several sets, and I mean, I'm thinking of myself back, you know, when I was like eight or ten. I would have loved to have this, by the way. I was really into the Civil War at that age. But how much of this would have I needed to like have a decent play experience? Probably at least two or three units aside, plus yeah. at least a cannon. So that's. That's like a couple hundred dollars because yep. each one of these boxes, a box of 10 figures, is $32. You add a cannon and two on each side, you're, yeah, it's, you're talking a hundred and some dollars a side. It's not a cheap product, and if we're talking about mass appeal to get kids into wargaming, I think that might be the, the biggest barrier to this being an answer to getting a lot yeah. of kids interested. It's, it's high quality, though. I mean, these are sharp, it's a sharp looking toy, and for, for a kid's toy, there really isn't a lot out there in the for wargaming with a kid. I, I could see this totally being a collector's item too. Something, Maybe for guys our age. Yeah, like I, I could set up with two you know units on my bookcase in my library. I mean, they're really neat. They're stamped on the bottom as well. I, I don't know. I, I I really like them, and uh, I would like to see the, this a little bit more unit diversity too. Right. But that would be really cool for kids to play with as as um as a father and um, as a war gamer. I want to shoot the cannon again, I don't know about you. <laughs> Picture of him, he's an old, old putter. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Die, secesh scum. <laughs> oh, headshot. 
Look <laughs> <laughs> at this. <laughs> oh, here we go. I got the officer. <laughs>